What's going on YouTube? This is me, Melvin, and I was very reluctant to uh, to do any video. Uh, and the reason why I'm saying that is because uh, I think today's video is going to be about transparency and and uh, honesty when it comes to being human. Um, as you all know, uh, I am one of many, several uh, Darman actors. Uh, that's what you guys know me for, uh, you know, being a Darman actor, um, but also being a YouTuber as well. Um, but outside of being a Darman actor, I am an actor, um, and being an actor, uh, it does have its ups and its downs when it comes to, when it comes to the industry, um, it can be a struggle. So speaking of struggle, uh, everybody on this earth has their things that they're dealing with. Uh, everybody, um, you know, we all deal with our stuff. And, and I think it's rare, it's rare when people open up uh, about things that they're dealing with. Uh, a lot of people, especially when it comes to social media, social media is just a thing. Um, social media is a great platform to tap a voice, uh, to, to do and post whatever. But something that I notice most of the time, nine times out of 10, is that everybody posts all the good things. Everybody posts, they post, you know, all the good things that happens in their life, which is not a problem. This is this is not a bad thing. Um, but I think people get the misconception when you watch, when you follow people, that their lives are always good. Uh, because they see all the good things, they don't. They don't see the things that uh, that um, you know that people deal with behind the scenes, and 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 they all and they have all right not to share. You know, it's no one's business. But I think when it comes to being human and to show that side of humanity, uh, I think I think it's important, you know, to share what you go through and what you are going through because you might help someone else so i'm saying all that to say um i'm human i struggle with a lot of things um i struggle with uh there there okay there are times where i can be insecure about certain things uh it might be about you know like my past or uh past experiences uh um, childhood trauma, um, relationships with, you know, family members, uh, relationships with, uh, girlfriends, um, you know, struggles, um, addictions. Like there's, there's a lot of things that you guys don't know that, uh, I'm willing to open up and I'm not saying that, oh, I'm doing this so I can get you know this video to be viral um nah I, i've just been in a space where i'm just i just want to open up you know and I, i've always been transparent but like open up to you know the public and to show that hey i'm not perfect i'm not this superhero that people may see me as or people may think that I am and people may think that oh this is Melvin he's he's this famous you know Darman actor um, you know he has it all put together not not all the time not not all the time there there are days where I, I don't have it all there are days where I just contemplate and my faith wavers uh, there are times where my heart hurts. There are times where 
I just cry. There are times where like I struggle with finances or uh, just struggle. You know what I mean? Like it's just one of those things that it's okay. It's okay to to voice how you feel. It's okay to um, it's okay to be human. It's okay to have flaws. Like we all have flaws. No one on this earth is perfect. And if anybody says that they're perfect, they're completely wrong. Um, something that just came to my head is um, accountability. I think a, a lot of reasons why uh, people are the way they are when it comes to not wanting to like uh, listen or to seek help is like denial and a lack of accountability when it comes to themselves. Um, you know, a lot a lot of people have the tendency to point the finger at other people. And one of my old pastors said this. He said. When people point the finger, they have three fingers pointed back at them. So those three fingers completely outweigh the one finger that you're pointing at. And there's a scripture in the Bible that talks about, you know, instead of you focusing on a small speck of wood in other people's eye, you need to worry about that big plank that's in your eye. Um, and what I got about that is, you know, focus on you, do what you need to do, but also accountability. Instead of blaming other people for, you know, for what happened to you or um, or what's not making you happy, like sometimes it's important to self-reflect and to hold yourself accountable for your actions. Like, granted, yes, things happen in your life that you can't control, uh, but the things that you can control, you can't control those things and you have power over that, but you can't allow your past experiences, just your past in general, affect your future. Like you can't do that. You, you can't allow that to affect the way you move in life. I don't know, I, I just felt led to just be, you know, vulnerable, um, honest, transparent with certain things. But because right now, I'm not going to lie, like, there are days where I'm okay, and there are other days where I'm not okay, and it's okay to be not okay, you know, it's okay to be not okay, and if you're not okay, let someone know that you're not okay, instead of holding it in and bottling up your feelings and your thoughts that's in your mind because the auto an auto mind is a devil's playground and there are times where I will admit where I'm just alone by myself and I might get attacked, you know, by the enemy, putting all these negative thoughts in my head, like rewinding things about my past, rewinding things about things that happened with my childhood. Just, you know, things, you know, certain burdens that I, that I carry. Um, no, I just wanted to, I just, I just wanted to share that with you guys that I'm human. I go through a lot. We all go through a lot. Seek the help. Um, you know, uh, grow. Uh, evolve, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, pray. Um, don't stay in the funk, but also let people in. It's okay to let people in, you know. Uh, there's a there's a situation where 
I dropped the ball, you know, I, I fumbled the ball, but I don't think it was totally my fault. Um, but I dropped the ball and admitting that you're wrong is okay. But uh, I dropped the ball and, you know, uh, this person or this individual, you know, not allowing me to, uh, not, not allow me to speak to them or they're not opening up to me anymore. Let's just say that they're, they're not opening up to me anymore or for now, it's going to be hard, but, um, it's okay to let your guard down. It's okay to, to be, to be vulnerable. It's okay to do that. Um, but of course, you know, have discernment, you know, on who you be vulnerable around. And, but also, I say all that to say, <laughs> don't let something small affect the big picture. And by that, to me, I, I'm saying, like, don't let something as minor affect how you feel because I feel if that small thing triggered you to to go back in your shell or to to spaz out or to go do something irresponsible or go back to something like an addiction or something that's something that I feel is something more deeper than, than the person who caused it. You know what I mean? So by that I mean, whatever happened, it's triggering something that you haven't dealt with yet. The person hasn't dealt with. Um, and sometimes I feel, you know, the person who may have caused it gets the majority of the blame. And that's why I mean, uh, accountability is is important and having self-reflection as okay like why am I still feeling this way why am I still feeling this way why did this one thing cause me to feel this way you gotta take a look you gotta really take a look um, take a look within yourself um, another thing I want to say before I get off here is Learning how to love yourself is important. Like, you, there's this line uh, from from a play. Uh, I can't really say it, but basically, what it's saying is, in, stop looking outside of yourself to find happiness. Stop looking outside of yourself to look for love. Like, you have to love yourself you have to look within before you can even expose yourself to other people so i had to i had to learn that i i i had to learn how to you know just love myself again multiple times because me being transparent there there were times in my life where i didn't feel like you know i was i was loved and i blamed so many other people uh, outside of that, you know, and I had to learn how to love myself um, and also allow God to, you know, to love me, even though God loves me, God loves you, um, Jesus loves you. Um, but knowing that within yourself, you have to love yourself. Um, I don't know. It's okay to be vulnerable. Uh, it's okay to make mistakes. Um, it's okay to to be angry, but not for a long time. It's okay to be sad, but not for a long time. Feelings are temporary. Feelings are but a moment. 
emotions are but a moment and you choose how you feel each day. If you want to be sad, you can choose to be sad. You can picture something in your head and say, you know, what? I'm choosing to be sad. I'm choosing to be happy. Certain situations may trigger you being getting in that feeling and it's OK, but you can choose to stay in it as long as you want. Um, but sometimes I feel people do play the victim too much and it becomes it, it comes to the point to where like we might enable the individual to continue to be in that funk and me I'm, I'm not going to allow someone to stay in the funk because I see the full potential in people I, that's just who, that's just how I am that's just how I'm naturally wired I, I, I don't care how imperfect someone else sees this person I don't care how bad someone else sees this person I see the good in everybody I see you know it's it's just in me. I, I just see good in everybody. I don't know. I just wanted to say that. This isn't some type of like entertainment video. Um, this is just me just coming on and just being open and honest about how I'm feeling. And in this moment right now as I speak to you, I on this emotional roller coaster, angry, hurt, sad, parts of me, depressed. Um, I don't want to say confused. Um, wavering, you know, parts of me, like my faith wavers scared like scared of the unknown scared of losing scared of letting go of people like just scared of just letting go of people i don't like letting go That's my thing. I don't like letting go. And this is me still being transparent. I don't like, it's not that I don't like to share. I'm just reluctant to share. And I had to think about why is that? And that was you know, just based on, I'm just being real with y'all. My childhood, like me being raised in a foster home and uh, me not knowing who my real parents were, me having this hate for my parents, specifically my dad, because I wanted that relationship with my dad and having that anger, like just fuel, fuel me all the way to like my adulthood and having hate for a man that I never, didn't even know as a child. Met him like 11, 12 years ago. Um, you know, but afraid to let go I, 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 I don't know I, I don't know about you guys I, I, I don't know if you guys have felt that before like have you guys some of you guys are, are you guys afraid of letting go of things people like, like, like why do we hold on to something or to someone that might not want to be held on to at the moment. Probably because we don't want our feelings hurt. I don't know. But um I don't know. I I I feel this is like the direction that I want to go with uh for now with my channel. I don't know. I don't I was thinking about that. Um 
I was thinking about it, but um, it's 20 minutes and still running. But uh, yeah, that's how I'm feeling or how, you know, I just wanted to be open with you guys and let you guys know what's going on in this moment. Tomorrow might be different, <laughs> uh, might not, but you guys are going to be okay. We're going to be okay. Uh, each day is a process. That being said, subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, share this video because someone might need to hear this message. Um, leave comments down below. Uh, hit the notification bell. You guys want notification videos every single week. I don't make videos like this every single day, but uh, it's your favorite Darwin actor, you can't Melvin Ward, signing off and.